terrain system test. Okay. Well, folks, welcome back to the channel. It's been uh, quite a while since I posted a video. Uh, so many things going on. Um, you know how it all. You know how it all goes. Uh, but here we are in my Mooney Ovation, of course, with the uh, Garmin set up in here this time around. And we all know um, Dynon, not this time around, even though Dynon is a great product. Orange um, County Automated Advisory. They're definitely not coming out the autopilot for the long body. And um, as you guys know, I like things kind of uniformed uh, when it comes to the equipment. Uh, so uh, I think the Dynon system with the Avidyne IFDs worked great together. And I, I just didn't want to have uh, the IFD, the Dynon system, plus another third-party um, autopilot. Um, it was, I thought it was too much going on with different companies. So unfortunately, we had to go with the Gorman. So we have a G5, G3, G3X Touch. Uh, we had the G3X uh, 7-inch um, touch uh, portrait, and this is a 10.3, I think it is. And of course, the uh, 750XI. So I'm going to go to um, I don't know, let's go to Oops, that's not it. I just like to put MGJ here. I don't know why, but uh, 1B1, Columbia County. Cause I have to get fuel. Uh, might as well do that. Very easy. Everything works perfect. Uh, this side, I like to put traffic on, um, and it has a PFD as well over here, as you guys know. This before, I like the traffic on this side. This has traffic too, as we know. Um, and I might like to have my map on this screen. And or the IF, uh, IFR stuff, and I also have the map for this stuff, so everything is pretty pretty much really nice to uh, have all this stuff at your fingertips uh, flying around, especially in IFR. So I have two cameras. Uh, I couldn't get the other two cameras to work. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Like I guess I haven't done it in a while. I don't know if the uh, system needs to be updated or not. Um, but I do do a lot of stuff on my... Um, Facebook page, and um, Instagram, and TikTok, if you guys would take a look at that. Orange County, Diamond 168, the amount alpha is established on the downwind for runway 4, Orange. So you're going to runway 4, let's get the weather. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Taxi lights. Automated weather observation, 2203, Zulu. Wind, 120, at 05. Visibility, 10. Orange County. Sky Orange condition County. clear. Three. Temperature two two Celsius. Dew point one two Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner six. Remarks. Density altitude one thousand two. All right, two nine hundred six. Sun's blasting. I'm gonna get some night currency done after my fuel. Getting close to that that six months. Uh, three full stop landings at night. I forget what it is, the acronym for that, but I know it's an hour before sunset, I think. So I hope everything's working with the audio, um, with the cameras, and we will eventually start doing more videos. There's just been a lot going on with uh, work, life, things happen. Uh, but thank you for the support from the Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I want to thank all the sponsors for the last uh, fly-in that we had uh, back in uh, July. That was a nice turnout. We had to switch the date till Sunday, so it kind of messes people around a little bit. Um, but we do appreciate everybody. If you can, you can check that out on Facebook. And also, pilotfunnel101.com. We're selling a lot of stuff off of there. Thank you for that. Pretty cool shirts and stuff on there. So... So Columbia County is just over across country, 52.9 miles away. And um, the Mooney Ovation is doing awesome. Uh, 
flew it to Key West, flew it to South Carolina, flew it to North Carolina, uh, and this plane loves to fly. Very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. I want to get the overhaul in the engine, which is probably eight, nine years from now. I'm going to do the uh, STC for the 310 horsepower. Currently has a 280 horsepower at 2,500 RPMs. And then the, uh, you can increase that to 310 horsepower at 2,700 RPMs, but it does bring your TBO down, I think, to 1,800 from 2,000. So I might do that in the future. And the paint is probably an 8 out of 10, so that's fine. And this is going to be my plane of choice for a long time, if not until I give up flying, which hopefully 30, 40 years from now. <laughs> hopefully 40 years from now. I will be in my... I'll be 80. So I'm going to get the... Very blessed to have the opportunity to fly this plane. So checklist time. Everybody knows the handy dandy checklist, which is right here to my left to my left leg, and we're gonna do that quickly, but quickly, but appropriately. I'm gonna follow this down because um, hey, you okay, might forget something. Now, See you guys in a second here. The uh, first thing we'll do is the evasions on takeoff. You want to get your the sun's right in my eyes, so sorry about that. Uh, get the uh, trim set for takeoff. Uh, it's a long body, so you have a lot of trim. Get that down. Legs to go down towards the end of the takeoff zone here. That's good. 10 degrees flaps, right rudder, a trim to take off. A lot of P-factor in this plane. A lot of horsepower up front for a uh, very sleek airplane. So we're all set with the trim. I'd like to get that out of the way so I know i, I got to go back over it again. And we'll do the rest of the stuff here. Yeah, this plane's got air conditioning, really nice. Works very well, actually. I'm very surprised how cold it gets. I just wish um, the fan speed on the top here comes down faster, like the back. So you have a low setting for air conditioning, which comes out at all the tops here. And plus the back back, where the hat rack is, has a vent for, for, the, for the air to come out. And if you put on max, just a, the, the motor, the fan in the back goes faster, not these. So that's the only thing wish the air would come down a little faster on the top here with a pilot. Okay, we're all set there. Fuel pressure is good. Oil pressure is good. Oil temperature is in the green. We are in the fullest tank. Um, flaps are at 10. We are trimmed for takeoff with trim. Um, we are trimmed for rudder trim for takeoff. Uh, alternator is good. We have lights are good. Um, and that's it. No Johnson bar, no nothing to worry about. We tested the speed brakes already. The electric speed brakes, nice. And we have, we'll switch over to landing lights and strobes, not quite yet. Uh, and of course, ADSB is for same radio test. Very good. So we are checked pretty good. I did check this, but we'll do it again. Nothing, always free and correct. I do a nice walk around before I fly it every time. So the funny thing is this trim setting here, it, obviously the trim in the Moonies, um, in a lot of airplanes, the uh, uh, it's connected to the nose wheel for your rudder, obviously, to steer. <laughs> but when I first got this plane, I thought it was way out of rig because I set the rudder to uh, tr a takeoff or just set it and was taxing and I was pulling to the right. I'm like, what's something wrong with the damn thing? And I realized, duh, <laughs> the, run to tr the rudder trim is over for takeoff and is making a right-hand turn. So, all right. We're set. And we're going to bug, um, we're going to go to 3500. I love the autopilot. Everything's good right here, nothing on the taxiway here. And uh, flight school's out. Take flight aviation. Oh, that sun is right at me. Uh, take flight aviation, folks, here at Orange County. Pretty big um, organization here. Orange County Automated Advisory Wind Calm Altimeter. Uh, winds are calm now. Perfect. Listen for traffic. Yeah, this is about 40 knots faster than the uh, the C model. The higher up you go, it gets pretty quick. All right. So mixture still out, and strobes now coming on. We got landing lights on, recon lights, so photos on. 
in Orange County traffic. Any base or base of final from way four? I see County traffic in Way One Four Fox Golf. Twelve mile final on Way Four on the IOF Four Orange County. We'll get out for him. Everything looks good. Right, left. Orange County Four One Three Zero Yankees about to enter in the left downwind for runway zero four Orange County. That's good. Looking clear. And Orange County traffic, Mooney 213 Alpha taking four for a uh, straight out departure, Orange County. We'll be out of your way here quickly in the ILS uh, traffic. Okay, the, the, the door is locked. We're all set. Everything looks good left and right. Helicopter, we got the helicopter in sight. Line up on the tax, or line up on the runway, from four, looking good. Lining up pretty good with four. Things mixture's full rich now. And we're all set. I always check the uh, the flaps are at ten trim and rudder trim set for takeoff. Alright. Alright, full power is in and let's let her go. Let her rip. We got four RPMs. Airspeed's alive. We got thirty knots indicated. We're looking for sixty eight. We got 60, and ready to launch it. All right, nice. Tap the brakes, nice positive rate. Running out of runway, gears coming up. Gears up and locked. Got some traffic here going into Stewart, so we'll stay a little low here. And a 10 mile final for the ILS 4. Orange County will be touching go departure northeast after. And be good for the flap to come up below 105. So stay right around here. That plane's coming in pretty hot there. It's going to be not a factor over there. We might get a little bit of his wake. It came around this way. All right, 1,000 feet per minute. We do 120 indicated. And I get over 1,000 feet here, we'll pull the power back. Orange County, 4192, 4130 Yankee, turn left. Base. All right, let's get this power back a little bit. will be fine. For now, we're not going high. What I can do, mess the autopilot. Like, I finally have one now. And go to 25 here. Or 24, sorry. Or the RPMs. Looking good there. So, let's do the autopilot. So, we already have a bug for 3500 on the G3X here. Uh, and the autopilot is on. Nav follow the nav right on the line anyway and we'll go vertical speed we'll do I don't know 800 feet per minute is fine for this plane right now three knot headwind and a three knot crosswind from the west here Orange County 4130 Yankees not going to be in airspace I get the map up here everything looks good uh, there shouldn't be any what I'm going to do is Orange County traffic, Moody departure pattern uh, to the northeast, climbing through 2,600. See you. All right. So we're going to put New York Approach on because they control this area uh, for speed direct to um, for the gliders. Uh, for the par the jumpers over here too at Gardner. Uh, they typically will announce that they have jumpers. So I'll keep that on because we are going to be over that airspace. Okay, almost at 3,500 already. That's how quick this plane likes to get out off the ground and go. Our speeds are good. I can, I'm not going to go fast. I'm gonna, not a fast flight. And we have 200 for 3,500 to go. And if you get some glare, I apologize to cameras. Like I said, I had two cameras that weren't really working right. And I figured, let me just throw a video out here. It's been a while. Uh, thank you for all the emails.
appreciate that. And we're going to do a level off here, and we'll do a lean assist here. Let's bring it back. Power setting is fine. We're, I mean, we're cruising pretty good, but it's fine. Let's get this back 50 degrees lean a peak pretty quickly over that hump. Engine monitoring is great in this airplane. Coming back down very nicely. United 407, turn left direct to Gale, normal speed. There we go, let's go a little above 50. I'll pull the prop back, 24. 22 and a half and 24 on the RPMs. And go back a little more. The all dampener is on. What I like to do with the all dampener is uh, keep it off. I like, I like to uh, do the runner trim myself manually. Get it in the center. Get the ball yeah, center. Seven contact New York center one three two point six. And then I'll put the all damper on. This way it's not struck. This way it's not Boost working, one, working so uh, hard. There's traffic two miles south west of the field northeast bound indicates three thousand five hundred just popped up. That's me. Two one eight three alpha near. Yeah, two one eight three alpha near. Two one eight three alpha. Be advised, twelve o'clock and a mile. Parachute activity. There are jumpers in the air. Suggest you turn immediately. Ninety degrees right. 90 degrees right, A3 Alpha. A3 Alpha, they are jumping over that airport directly underneath you. Suggest you turn to avoid. Turning right now to the right, A3 Alpha. See that? That's why I listened to them. I didn't see them jumping. And that's exactly why I do what I do when it comes to listening to New York because. I don't want to have a I don't want to have a problem. I don't see anybody here. They're over a Garner over here, right behind me. Get out of their way. So it's Skyhawk November five zero eight Fox Shot Golf is ten miles south of Orange County at five thousand five hundred VFR request. Five zero eight Fox Golf, stand by a moment. Two one eight three Alpha, uh, you're clear of the jump zone. Thank you. On course now. To your discretion. There is a jump airplane. Twelve o'clock and two miles opposite direction, ascending out of six thousand. Appreciate it. That's why I was listening to you guys. I'm over here. Good idea. So 2593 coming to New York Center 13. I'm sorry. Contact Wilkesbury approach 120.95. Good day. There you go. This is why I listen to New York. Yeah, I'm here. I'm leveling off. This guy one traffic 7 o'clock and a mile. He is uh, turning around the airport and turning back to the northeast now. Indicates 3,700. Traffic 2 o'clock. Okay, high. high. One mile. Good, thank you. 2760 near its spot, you do not exceed uh, 250 knots. Got the jumper plane in sight. So, there's a great example of why. We'll go direct to the airport now, we're good. And we'll put back on NAV. And, air, and we'll put the air, uh, autopilot back on. 4192 Charlie, contact looks approach 120.95. I didn't see him in the on the box with the traffic. He's behind me. He's there. I see him. Four one nine two Charlie, New York. And um, that's why I always listen to New York at this time, especially when it's a clear ceiling out here. Uh, Garner is right to my left. Um, Who's going one traffic? No factor. I listen to them. Diamond four one nine two Charlie, New York approach. Um, because, for that reason, if I didn't listen to New York, I would have flown, I could have went around it, but a lot of times they're not jumping. To Charlie, contact Wilkes-Barre approach. So a lot of times they're not jumping, and it's to go around all this airspace. Um, a lot of messing around. But that's why I listened to them. So I must have, when I switched over to New York, they must have just started jumping. I'd not hear that, and then he was looking for me on the box, and he got my tail number, and he tried to call me through 3275, which is New York, and we worked it out. Turn right, heading 030. I'm very, very, uh, 030. Um, do my due diligence when I'm flying in areas that have jumpers, and same thing as Sussex. They have jumpers there. They have jumpers. Charlie, contact one two zero point. They have jumpers in Gardner. They have jumpers over towards the uh, north. So, but they all don't jump. Loud and clear. How many? So, that's okay. We're going direct now to one B one. That's a perfect example. There, we'll switch over. 
best we could do here is go to information, we'll go to the airport, frequency, Unicom, we'll put an active, we'll listen to what's going on over there. Uh, and their weather is 32, I put it on the bottom here, 33, 52. So yeah, so don't be afraid to listen in on other channels. Another jumper spot up here. Um, I don't I don't see anybody in the box yet, so we keep an eye out. We'll keep 3275 on the top for a minute, but we're going to miss that airspace anyway. Yeah, 1053, departure direct to Merritt. Uh, so we'll be good. So on the way back, uh, I will make sure I put New York on and avoid coming to come around the... So 740 New York, good afternoon, turn left direct uh, this, uh, Come around towards the east that are going through. American 1586, speed 300 knots or greater. I remember one time, I wasn't listening to New York, and it was my old uh, my old Mooney, the, uh, the Ranger, which I missed. That plane is flying all over the place, love it. Uh, and it was a cloudy day, very cloudy day. The ceilings were probably 4,500 scattered, but like a tight scatter. But like a tight scatter. And, you know, I'm just flying along. No one's going to be jumping. Uh, you know, that's what the jump through clouds. And, um... Uh, I was on frequency, not with New York, and I'm flying, and all of a sudden, um, probably a few miles from me, uh, a jumper comes out of the clouds, like just comes right down, and I'm like, holy, holy shit. I called up New York and said, hey, you know, do you have jumpers? I said, I didn't see anything on the box, whatever, and they didn't have any information of jumping, so I'm not sure what happened with that. Um, but hey, it is what it is. So we, we're going to keep always listening to the tools that we have to move on. Delta 2760, climb and maintain 16,000. Uh, let's see, the cameras are still working here. Very good. How's this one back here working? All right, pretty good. I'm not sure how to set up. I mean, the, the Dynon screen seem to be more brighter or more something with the camera, so I might have to change uh, the, uh, I might have to change some of the settings in the camera. The reset must be slower on these or faster, I'm not sure. What we could do is, let's do, we can, we could do, um, let's, let's do a practice RNAV, uh, to, into, uh, Columbia County. I'm going to show you how easy it is with the 750 here. Uh, so I, I have my, my settings here. I'm still looking around here for traffic. I got the 12 the 12 mile ring up here. Um, I did my some of my pre-select buttons here on the front so I can really quickly instead of going through. Uh, one thing about Garmin, it's a lot of twisting and turning to find your screens you want. But So I put up my soft keys where I want on the front here so I can quickly just do whatever I need to do. So I have the approach button up here and you hit that. I like the autopilot up here too. I like to rest my hand on it. Um, and I also like the fact it's up here, not down here by all this uh, twisting and turning, my bump stuff with, with, with um, uh, turbulence. I guess I can turn the landing light off now. We'll keep the recon lights on. Now, you know what? Let's keep the landing lights on. They're all LED anyway, in case we see what's going on out here. Yeah, Kingston's over there. We're clear that. So anyway, so approach. So we're going to go do the RNAV, the LPV. And then we're going to go, and so it approaches RNAV-3 with the LPV, uh, which gives us a glide path. And then uh, we're going to transition, we'll, we'll do Crow, because um, it's right here. So we'll transition, go to Crow. And we're not going to do the record reversal, no. And we can load and activate it, go right direct to Crow. If you can load it and keep going under a heading when you want to do. But once you load and activate the approach, it's going to take you to the, the initial approach fix. So we're going to load it, activate it. And the autopilot's already turning right to the initial approach fix, which is Crow. And then at Crow, 3,200 feet. What we could do is here, 3,200 feet. We're at 35. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-select 3,200 feet. Okay. And I'm going to hit this. And I want to be above, um, on track, above, uh, type above at 3,200 feet to Crow, so VNAV, and we'll activate vertical direct to Crow at 3,200 feet, okay. So now, and we'll do VNAV select. So right now, it's gonna... So right now, it's gonna give us 
it will put us at 3,200 feet above crowd using the VNAV feature. And um, we're only a couple, couple hundred feet in, uh, away. And of course the approach plate comes up. So let's brief the plate real quickly. Like this is a practice RNAV. It's already, it already knows we're doing that, so it puts it in the screen already. Uh, here's, here's what we have here. The, uh, the, the approach course is 025. And is the RNAV the three? Columbia County Airport 1B1. The VNAV is not available for Brommer. You can't get the Brommer at, at the airport. So I didn't get the weather yet, so it might not be an op, but we'll, we'll and again, again, this is all practice. We got the missed approach. We're going to miss approach and we're going to climb the 3200 feet direct to J put and hold. It's very easy in this plane. plane Pre select 3200 when you get the you know, initial post before you get to the. Once, you, once it captures the uh, glide path, you're fine. You can change to whatever you want to change. Uh, Pre select 3200. So when you go around and hit the go around button, full power, cleaning the plane up, um, it'll go right to 3200. And you get to hit nav, so it follows the nav of the. Uh, a G10750, and it'll take you right to that hold, and it'll, it'll do a nice pitch up for you without stalling the airplane out. Um, so we're going to do minimums is 500. So we hit this, set minimums 500, and when that's done. And we're already at 3200. That's right, almost at 3200. We'll be going down shortly. And there's my route. So it's Crow, Ari, APAP, and the runway. Our nouns are pretty easy to do. Zulu, weather, wind, one, four, zero, at four, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, two, two, Celsius, two point, one, two, altimeter, two, nine, nine, eight, Columbus County Airport, Northern, seasonal mowing in the vicinity of runway two, one, and three. There's no note of when I went there besides that, so it makes sense. We got the weather. Columbia County Airport. Now we can use the VNAV feature. Legally. Almost at 3200. It went down nice and slowly because I, I, I bugged 3200 at the fix. I'm going to bug 025. It's going to tell me in a minute to do that. That's the uh, approach course very shortly. Lane light is on, strobes are on, recon lights are on. Oh, this plane has all LED lighting. I'm not worried about burning any bulbs out right now. <laughs> Everything is looking fantastic. 024 left turn. 024. We'll just bug it here. Doesn't do anything. 024. 025 is the, uh, of course, I have the airport in sight. We're going to pull the power back. Mixture in. So, now we're going to go down to 2200. So let's put 2200 in here. And go down. And then we're going to hit, hit the approach button. We are inbound. the airport. Two, I can see two whites and two reds from here. <laughs> That's crazy. Looking good. Autopilot's doing the work right now for me. I'm looking, scanning. Looking for 2200. The power pull back. Looking good. We're not, we're not in gear speed yet. Plenty kind of traffic. Uh, Mooney 2183 Alpha, about eight and a half miles out on the practice RNAV uh, 3 approach. Columbia County traffic. Be a full stop. Get some fuel while I'm here. We're all looking good. Yeah, I'm going to put the speed brakes out, probably to slow us down, because I don't want to pull the power back. Too, too idle. <laughs> uh, these planes are slippery. 800 pounds heavier than my C model. So 800 pounds is more force going downhill here. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going down the minimums. All right, gear can come down now. Speed brakes are still up. Okay, propeller, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, gear, gears down, gears down, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, speed. We're slowing down pretty good. A little bit of a wind, a little bit of a push. Columbia County traffic, Looney 23 Alpha is about a two and a half mile final, number three. Columbia County traffic, full stop. Still flying it in. 500. The glide path is captured. Now it's bringing it in. Up the power. But approach flaps. Looking good, looking great. Looking for minimums, looking for minimums. All damps away. Oh, a little bumpy here. Autopilot still bringing it down. Minimums. Minimums. Minimums, minimums 500 over the ground. Uh, 500 minimums. Disconnect the autopilot. It's already all trimmed out for us. And we're going to bring it on in hand flying. It's a little bumpy up here. And bring the speed down. Looking for 80 knots. And we'll dump the full flaps. Looking good. Yeah, wind's pretty calm down below here. Nice. Check the gear one more time. We have to go to the end anyway, so I'm going to just float it down a little bit. All right. I have much better landings than that before. Jeez. I have a crosswind. Went to the trees, and then all of a sudden the wind just dies. All right, so we made it to Columbia County, my favorite place. Quick little cross-country flight. And that's basically what we have here. So perfect time when I get back, I'm gonna be just in that time period to do my three touch, uh, three full stops for my night currency, which would be cool. Okay, flaps coming up, clean the plane up, pull the mixture back a little bit, and we're looking perfect. Guys, thank you for flying along. We made it to Columbia County. My glasses are not needed anymore. Gotta have the sunglasses. And, uh, we're, we're might, uh, we might put the cameras back on getting back, but probably not because it'll be dark and I want to get my night currency done. So we're going to get some fuel here, and that's why I like to practice when I can on the, on the approaches. Um, I like to listen to New York when I'm in that area because of the jumpers, as we know. Uh, luckily, I was on a frequency. He said my plane just jumped up on the, uh, came up on the um, radar, and I didn't see that plane until he said that too. It's weird how it got a little bit of a, a little bit of a lapse there or something. I'm not sure what happened there. But all in all, here we are. All right, guys, thanks again for flying along. I appreciate you all. Uh, thank you for the support with PilotFun101.com and Instagram, Facebook, 132,000 followers. We continue to do well with that and uh, pushing to help the community out as much as we possibly can for GA because it's a fun thing to do. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.